aneurysms are really just, they're a time bomb that a lot of people that die from them never know they have them. One side and a CT scan of my abdomen and that discovered I had aneurysm, which pr pr preceded the, me to have a CT scan of my abdomen and that discovered I had three aneurysms. I have one in each iliac artery and one in my abdominal aortic artery uh, right beside my navel. And that was something that I was told by the vascular surgeon could have been there since birth. Had I not had all these hearth casts, mine would have probably never been discovered because I have had no pain, no pain, no symptoms, no nothing. They just found them. Normally, you're, you're, they open your abdomen and go in with a graft and repair it. I, because of all of my heart conditions, I was not a candidate for that type of surgery. Uh, and then secondarily, they will go in endoscopically and put a graft uh, like, like a giant stent in your artery and repair it that way. Uh, mine could not be done that way because I have, uh, it would block off my renal artery and I would not have blood supply to my kidney. It's called a fenestrated graft. I think it's Latin, which means window. It's a, it's a normal graft with a little side branch that goes up into the renal artery. Basically, uh, the aortic artery comes from your heart down to your, through your abdomen and splits about right here into your two iliac arteries that go down your legs. My abdominal aortic art aneurysm is right here, was right about here beside my navel. And my two iliac aneurysms were here and here. And they were repaired with a little incision right here on the artery and they just went up in through the artery with their graft and then they opened it up here and then also here in the iliac and on this side for this one. So they repaired all three at the same time. Had I not had him to do my surgery, I don't know, I don't know what would happen. Uh, I guess we would just be sitting around watching my aneurysm and see how big we can get it or uh, take a real high risk, have a high, real high risk surgery and uh, see if my heart would uh, make it through there, I don't know. If I could just give anyone any advice that's out there, uh, I would say don't smoke. It's just not worth it. Um, after all the stuff I've been through, I would give anything to be able to go back and undo this. If there was one positive thing I could say about having this, it just made me so much more appreciative of everything that I know that my time is, is, a, is finite that, and I wanna live every day more fully and enjoy people around me more and my family more. I want to retire and just have some free time. I want to make it to retirement age. And I've always been a golfer. I, I haven't had a hole in one in 40, 40 years. I wouldn't mind having one more hole in one. <laughs> <laughs>